Welcome back to Lane Switching. Today, I got my guest. I'm here with one, none other than HBR Fleazy. How you feeling today, man? No, I'm good. Good, my nigga. Oh, yo, you start. Can I say nigga and shit? Yeah, yeah, of okay. course. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm good still, you know? Just yeah. here. Just shot a music video. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. So, let's yeah. just start off. Uh, tell us a little bit about life before music, your upbringing, you know? Shit. On where I'm from and stuff? Yeah. Sure. Me, I'm from South Ottawa. You know, I've been around like the whole South of Ottawa, to be honest. You know, because I moved around like three different neighborhoods when I was younger. The main one, though, is Fairly for sure. And uh, yeah, you know, it's pretty, you know, South Side, like it's pretty kind of dirty, like where I was living at and shit like that. But, mm. you know, we made it, made it through all that shit, you know. Most definitely. So, um, when exactly did you start making music? Uh, I mean, like, as a joke, I was making music as a kid, like, when my, I have an older sister, like, when my sister and shit like that. She's actually what, like, made me start doing music. Mm. And then, uh, but, like, when I took it serious, it was really, like, even me, like, rest in peace, my brother Lito, like, we were, take, we were taking little videos, music, when we were kids, you know, in the basement in my neighborhood, you know, recording off a laptop, you know, just for fun. And then the first time I was really in the studio, it was probably 20, 2017, 2016, maybe, 2016, yeah. That's sick. So um, I think, was it the first time you ever released visuals back in 2018? That was Letter yeah. to My Unborn? Oh, no, no, that's not my first one. My first one was... Uh, into that, I did one into that. We shout out Banzo, Banzo Films. Okay, okay. Banzo, you know, but uh, but that one it was funny because I recorded it. I recorded that one in the basement, but yeah. I shot the video with Banzo. Like the video was sick, yeah. but like the audio was trash. <laughs> so like, well, it was whatever. And uh, just speaking about that, like in comparison to back, like you could say 2017, 2018 to now in 2023, just how has the visual game in Ottawa changed? How the is visual? All oh, the visuals are hard. You know, I won't lie. Me, like, I started a lot of videos. Me, I'm, a, I'm somebody, like, I like to fuck with, like, the people that are first starting out. Mm -hmm. So, like, before, I was I was doing videos with a lot of people that was first starting out. And now, if you see them, I won't say names, but now if you see them, like, they're sick, you know? So, it's like, you know, it's sick. I like to see the people get better and shit like that, what they're doing, their craft, you know? And um, do you think it's just, like... It's an extra element added or, you know, because you look at like million view videos back in the day of Chief Keef, Lil Dirk. Mm -hmm. And even though those, they're not crazy, they're nothing, yeah. nothing special, but they got millions of views because they still, you know, brought the music out. Like, what is it about these new generation of like visuals? With them though, I feel like it's just because they had a crazy wave at that time. Yeah. And like, yeah, like Canada has yet, I mean, Toronto had that, had that wave, I guess, but like Chicago, they had a crazy wave, so they could they they could drop videos shooting from iPhones at that time and it was gonna go crazy just because of what they're saying and shit like that you know mm. but uh, but I won't lie now today a good like the HD quality is needed you know like the sick quality is needed you know you, nobody's gonna watch a video that looks like shit yeah you know? that's true and uh, similar to the visuals you worked with a lot of artists that you know have definitely. Uh, you know, just like yourself have elevated, you know, you talk about someone like Leah Cloud, you talk about someone like Gigi Chevy, these are tracks you have, even Lido, you have tracks with these guys from, you know, years ago, four or five yeah. years ago. So yeah. how does it feel now, you know, in 2023, seeing their success, you know, and, and your man, success too, you know? Man, Gigi is my brother, you know, so I love seeing what he's doing, always behind him, push, you know, always support that guy. Leah Cloud, that's my sister too, you know, it's love. You know, Lido, R.P., my brother, you know, he started the shit. He's the GOAT. He started the shit, you know, R.P., my brother. And, uh, yeah, you know, me, I'm just really starting to get back on the scene because, like, I really, like, took a break, you know? Like, me, I wasn't really mentally ready. You know, I was in a bad mental spot, so, like, I wasn't really on the music shit. But I'm just starting to get back in 2023, you know? 2022, I dropped a little one-two. I was on my brother's album, Lido and Chevy too. That's really it, you know. Yeah. So yeah, and I think also you were on the All Cap album. Oh as yeah, well. yeah. Shout out to yeah, yeah. I was on that shit. I did. A, I did a track for him too. I fuck with him too. You know. And just like speak about that, like how was that feeling when, um, you know, whether it's you know 
uh, the track no, with uh, Chevy GM and Lido that popped off is, you know, Leah's, you know, late six uh, or, you know, success of late, mm -hmm. you know, how does that feel? Like, how does that feel seeing your team win? It's beautiful for the South side, you know, especially for the South side. It's like no one really, you know, there's other sides doing their thing for sure, but I love to see my side especially, you know, doing good. It just, you know, it makes me happy still, you know, especially when it's people I, I love and shit, you know. So. Most definitely, most definitely. And and you just said it, you featured on uh, a lot of different projects, whether it was Chevy's, Lido's, Posthumous, All Cap, whatever the case may be. Do you enjoy more, have you enjoyed more lately being a feature artist more than the main artist? I mean, you know, not like that was really just 2022. I was fucking with the features because I wasn't really on my solo shit. But if you see me back in the day, like I'm one of the people that like started the shit for like my age group type shit. Like well, me and Lido, you know, like that was him. He's younger than me. He's just ahead of his time. You know, that guy was the best, to be honest. But, you know, we started the shit together, you know, and it was it was amazing to see him like go up like that, you know. Cause you know we, I know where he started from, so like basically. Yeah. And uh, like you said, you've been in the Ottawa hip hop scene for a minute. If you could compare, if you were, if you said like somebody asked you like who could or what other city you can compare to Ottawa when it comes to the hip hop, is there another city you can compare to this city? No, nah, Ottawa's Ottawa's unique to me. You know, I feel like Ottawa's unique. A lot of different sounds coming out of Ottawa. It's just like. Some sounds haven't been heard yet, but there's a lot of different sounds coming out of this city, you know, like from every side. Yeah, for sure. And, and like you said, it's just lately, you know, haven't been feeling the music, but now 2023, you're back in the swing. It was, I think, mm -hmm. Lonely, I guess, was the last song you dropped on streaming services. That yeah, was... yeah, yeah, Lonely. That was the last one I dropped on streaming. Lonely and Clap Shit with uh, uh, OTG Stiffy is on yeah. that. Yeah, dumb too. Yeah, so... When do you plan on dropping your next single on streaming services? For sure, by March, you know. I'm trying to drop a video March 1st. It's my birthday. And then I'm going to put it on all streaming platforms that month for sure. So, yeah, it'll be, it's for sure going to be on Spotify and all that shit. I'm going to drop songs with my, you know, Dollar, my dog, you know. Rebel 2, that's a big, Hemi 2, Hemi started this shit too, you know. Like, he started this shit, so... Uh, similar, I guess you could say similar to what I asked in Dollars interview. Um, is there anyone outside of your team you're looking to work with? Doesn't even just have to be the city. Uh, shit. Man, I don't know. I, I'm I'm really same shit with my bro. Like I'm really on my team type shit. But like, if somebody reaches out to me, I actually like, I'm you know I'm a nice guy. Like I like I'm not like people be like a little like I'm not approachable or whatever. But like. I'm down to do music with everybody, you know, if I fuck with your music, you know, so, especially like me, I, like even back in the day, I was always doing features, like I, I had a one, two features with dance hall artists, like I'll do tracks with people, so I'm like I, I could rap on anything to me, you know. That's sick, that's sick. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's just early in 2023, but what do you have planned for this year? This year, a big year for me and my guys, for sure. I'm for sure trying to drop a project before the year ends i'm gonna for sure drop videos march i'm trying to drop like two videos and then from there momentum you know I keep dropping see how everything goes still behind my team you know we're really like taking steps you know because like i'm going along I'm, I'm doing everything with my team this time for real you know i'm not trying to do it all by myself type shit so how much has it helped having that support uh, it, helps, it helps a lot because you know, when you have a team a support system you know it it helps you especially like you know all the shit we go through as young niggas you know there's a lot of shit having your team is the best feeling you know just feeling that support is the best i don't really care about other people like my team folks with it i'm good for yeah. sure for sure so where can people find you on social media Shit, social media, baby boy, three wise underscore four six three, four six three. They don't know that stands for God, but yeah, you find me there only on Insta. Yeah, Instagram. 
for sure for sure and, and then we'll, we'll put that in the description too so mm -hmm. that was the hbr like, yo, i had a bigger oh my god i had a, no 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 continue. i had a bigger instagram but i ended up losing it you know it was an hbr fleecy instagram but i lost it like a, a, a couple of years ago so and, and just quick for the people uh where did you actually get that name it's very fleazy. Uh, well, the fleazy part was my homie back in the day. One of my homies, because when I was a kid, I used to dress like I used to always dress fresh when I was a little kid, you know. And you know, like the word flea, flea means like you're fresh or whatever, you know, wearing fresh shirt. And then my homie just added the the Z, cause like you know, like at the time, like Young G Z, Lil Weezy, all yeah, these yeah, Z's, yeah. you know, just added the Z. And the HBR really came just because when I started rap, I was with, you know, I was with a couple of homies. Still my homies to this day, but for sure, like, we had, we had some shit going on HBR, 100 Brand Records, you know. I just, I'm not, I mean, I wouldn't take it off just because I always remind myself where I started, what I started with. Most definitely. So just keep it like that, HBR for easy, for sure. That's dope, that's dope. So again, that was the HBR Fleazy interview. Respect for having me. Most definitely. I'm DF2. That's HBR Fleazy. Peace, y'all.